Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel, checking out today's video. Got a good video for you all today. We're gonna to be talking about the best lures that you can fish on a bright sunny day because there are some tricks and tips that you need to know as far as catching those bass on those high intensity days. And I've got five or six different lures here that I'm gonna go over and sort of explain the conditions and situations they work in in today's video. Also guys, quick reminder about our February sale on my Solar Bat Series RB2, RB3 Series sunglasses. If you buy a pair in the month of February, you get them at 25% off. And any purchase also over $100, you get a $30 mystery grab bag from Solar Bat full of a bunch of good stuff. So if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these good glasses, I'll put that link in the description here of the video. Also guys, uh, Tackle Warehouse has got some really cool promos going on this month too. I'll link all that stuff in the description as well here. <coughs> okay guys, <clears throat> let's get into this thing about the bright, uh, bright days, sunny lures type weather. Or sunny day, the lures to use in sunny days uh, situations. Now, one of the things about this, first we'll get into it, a lot of the lures and the techniques that work good on sunny days are relative to the wind. Um, specifically what I'm talking about in today's videos are those bright bluebird days where you don't have any, any clouds at all in the sky. And obviously your wind is going to be a factor as well with your water temperature. So, uh, bright sunny days versus the water temperature and the wind all play a role in the techniques that work good. Now in general, um, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of briefly, this could be a seminar that could go on forever, but I'm briefly gonna talk about each season as far as the best lures to use in each season. Now on bright sunny days, let's talk about oh, winter, spring, summer, fall. Now in the winter time, um, probably one of the best lures that you can use on a bright sunny day during the cold warmer months of, you know, something like December through February is a small swim bait, like this Mega Bass 3 inch spark shad with this little, has excuse me, the Okashir jig head on it. Um, and also guys, all the baits that I talk about, I'll link each one of them in, in my uh, Tackle Warehouse descriptions if you guys would like to get some. But a little bitty swim bait guys, this is a finessey shad looking swim bait. Um, in the winter, if you have bright sunny days, is one of the best ways to catch them. Um, it's a subtle bait, um, fish a lot of times in the winter time that would normally bite like an Alabama rig or a jerk bait on cloudy or partly cloudy days. Sometimes that gets tougher. And if you downsize to a little finessey swim bait like that, you can keep catching them. Um, you can catch them. And the good thing about a little swim bait like this is you can catch them for, you can catch suspended fish on it, or you can catch them on the bottom both, but it's a really good lure to catch those cold water, uh, sunny day fish. Now, as you move up into uh, the warmer months, now the, the next ones that I'm talking about can be used pretty much uh, all through spring, summer, and fall with that. The next categories we're talking about are more relative to the water clarity than the water temperature as far as having those bright sunny days. So I'm gonna go through my four favorite ones. Now, first one guys is on a bright sunny day, you can't beat a jig. Um, the key with the jig out there, you can catch them in clear water on it or you can catch them in dirty water. But I prefer to have some off colored water or just some, some stained water. And one of my favorite ways to catch bass on a bright bluebird day, if I have water visibility of like less than say two and a half feet, is a jig. And the key on catching fish shallow on a bright sunny day on a jig, or even a creature bait, anything that you can pitch or flip like that, is you have to focus on the shade. So you're fishing targets that throw off shade, whether it be docks or lay down trees or you know overhanging trees, grass beds. You've got to get into that shade because that shade creates an ambush point for bass in a uh, sunny, sunny conditions out there. Say for example, if you're you know, fishing down the bank, it's noon out, you got bright sun coming down and you've got a stump out in front of you, there's always a place on that stump that has some shade on it. And that's where you wanna pitch and flip that jig in there around any shade in the clear water environment out there. So that's, and also guys, if, you, uh, if you're fishing clear water with that, a lot of times you can like concentrate on fishing steep banks that are have some shade coming off them like that you know fish that jig down a little bit deeper in the clear water next one guys clear water or bright super sunny days is a shaky head cannot beat a shaky head a shaky head is a really good bait to catch fish in a wide range of conditions on a sunny day uh, my favorite setup is the zoom trick worm here and man i really like this new gamagatsu uh, shaky head here this thing has got a super nice keeper a nice hook on it I really like the way the head is. I'll link all that in the description here. 
but a shaky head, like on a, you, you know, the trick worm, either six or four inch on there with a 16th or a one eighth ounce, a shaky head on it is deadly on those bright sunny days. As far as the shaky head goes, you can literally catch fish on a shaky head 12 months out of the year with it. And it works in a wide range of conditions. Normally if I'm fishing uh, like, you know, water visibility that's over four foot, I'm normally fishing a little bit deeper with it, sort of maybe on main lake and secondary points, you know, just down straight shoreline sections. Um, if I'm fishing a little bit shallower stuff, a lot of times I like to skip it up underneath the shade of boat docks. That's one of the best ways you can catch fish on a sunny day, guys, is take a shaky head on a light head like that and skip it up underneath the shade of the docks. It's a really good way to catch them or just any anywhere that you find shade. If you're fishing shallow targets, it's sort of like the same thing with the jig. You're trying to concentrate on the shade a little bit more. But um, day in and day out on a sunny day, a shaky head is gonna be hard to beat. Okay, the next one, guys, would be, this is going to be a situation for bright sunny days if you have off-colored water. Now, burning a, a shad pattern square bill crankbait, like this Megabass S crank right here, in dirty water on bright sunny days next to objects is a great way to catch them. One of my favorite ways to do it is like, anytime you have water, water temperatures like over 55 or 60 degrees, if you can find water visibility, like under 15 inches, anywhere between like eight inches to 15 inches in visibility, you can burn a little square bell crankbait in that dirty water next to cover on those bright sunny days and fish really react to it good. And one of the, one of the tips I'll give you on it is try to get some type of a shad pattern like this. It has a translucent side on it. So you can see my finger behind it. You don't want a bright colored one. You want more of a translucent because that blends in a lot more on those bright days, even in that off color water. Another, another key on this is on those bright days is you've got to use some speed of your tree. You don't just like throw it out there and reel it in, you know, steady. You need to burn it a little bit, stop and go and burn it. But that'll definitely trigger a good uh, shallow water, off-colored water bite in clear water. Okay, and the last one, guys, this is probably one that a lot of guys haven't fished, but this is a deadly clear water bait um, all year long, and that's a flick shake rig. Now, this is a Gamagatsu flick shake head. Again, I'll link it all in the description. I just got a little four inch uh, soft plastic stick bait on here. And this is sort of like a wacky rig, but the difference is you've got weight on the head of the flick shake here and it's weedless. So you can cover deeper water a lot quicker than you could with just like a wacky rig with just a hook in it. And when this, when this flick shake is falling like this, it makes the tails of these soft plastic stick baits vibrate on the way down like that. And guys, in really clear water, if you've got clear water, like water visibility over four foot, and you've got a bright sunny day out there, this is a really good subtle way to get bites on there. My favorite places to fish it is like around any type of structure, like deeper docks, maybe around bridge pilings, um, you know, off deeper banks, points in the middle of guts, anywhere that those bass can get a good look at that, falling down through the water column with that. But anyway, guys, that's, um, that's, five or six of my favorite baits to use in sunny, sunny conditions out there. Um, one of the things to remember though, it's really important to remember when fishing in a sunny day is most of the time you're going to do better if you're fishing a little bit deeper in clear water, or if you're keen on shade, shade is a critical, critical factor when you're talking about catching bass on sunny days, even if the water's, you know, stained or if it's even, you know, clear out there, it doesn't really matter with it. The only exception to that would be if the water is super, super cold, like water temperatures in the 40s, then the shade doesn't quite become uh, so important out there. But overall, if I, if I could give you the best piece of advice on there, the one bait that I would throw would be a shaky head. Shaky head has been probably my number one producer on those bright sunny days. But again, you, it's not like one bait fits all. You gotta always consider the sunlight intensity being bright and sunny out in correlation with the water temperature and the water clarity. So anyway, hope it helps you guys catch a few and we'll talk later.